So we have lots of cats here. Come spring and early summer, we get a truckload of cats. He's so yeah. cute. You could teach him so many aids yeah. and buttons and like, I like him a lot. This is an old injury and it's been that way for quite some time. There's degrees of skinniness. Right here, there's still some fat muscle left. And it's just gonna keep getting more crooked. Yeah. They never straighten up, it just gets worse. If you got a horse in the round pen that's hard to catch, you're gonna put some pressure. And as soon as it starts looking towards you, you're gonna start backing away. Felt her front feet, they are extremely hot. So she's probably having a laminitis episode. This is what you gotta do sometimes to help a horse. Let's go save some horses. I got it's a little baby oh and we're squirming okay so we have lots of cats here come spring and early summer we get a truckload of cats and um most of them are little babies so if y'all are interested in adopting a cat from us you can email adoptions at horsehumane.org and uh we'll get you fixed up and try to find you a, a good barn cat all of these are they're good barn cats, so if you are, are looking for some, and they're, look, I mean, come on guys, look how stinking cute. I mean, how can you resist? Oh. <laughs> okay, he's gonna go back. <laughs> We got a pretty busy day today. We're getting ready for auction. Um, our weekend cleaners did not come this weekend, so we are cleaning up all the stalls real quick. We're gonna run up to quarantine, get quarantine ready, and then we're coming back down here to make sure that the trailers are loaded and ready to go. So let's get back to it. Uh, today we are we got the new door in for the feed room. I'm going to trim it, trim everything out and run the steel over here. If, if there's time before auction, I'm going to start putting steel on down there. So this is Mr. Tango. I feel like he's yeah. Very um, well mannered for being a, an Arabian. <laughs> I feel like he's very sweet. He's just very, very sensitive. Hi. He's so yeah. cute. You could teach him so many aids yeah. and buttons, and like, I like him a lot. What uh, discipline do you usually ride? Uh, you I'm show? a barrel okay. racer. Nice. And then, yeah, just for fun, do right. some trail rides, let them cool off. And he is hard to catch. <laughs> yeah. Hard to catch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He seems like a perfect fit for you guys. Do you think you want to take him home? Definitely. The purpose of bringing that yes. This far. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Yeah. I, yeah, I love him. Yeah, this is Shadowfoot. So she does pretty good um, under saddle. It's just her ground manner she needs a little work on. Yeah. <laughs> um, she is going blind in that left eye. From what we can tell, she does still see some amount out of it. I'm not sure how much, but she yeah. has vision impairment on that side. With all the, if we would take both we got four yeah. plus those two. That That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I misunderstood you. Six is okay. Yeah, then it's even. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Even number, the better. Okay, so we are going with Shadowfoot and Tango, correct? Exciting. So 
I will give this information to you, which is the microchip information. Okay. The saddest part is we do our part to microchip all the horses, and then it's up to the adopters um, mm -hmm. to actually go in and enroll and make the exactly. account in yeah. your name. The horse plus on uh, Google, and uh, we were looking for some horses. So I learned it through her. I learned it through her too. <laughs> so yeah, when I saw horse plus, I thought it was pretty amazing what they're doing, and yeah. everybody deserves a second chance. So Thanks. we ended up with two of them. <laughs> we came for yours. one, but we have room, we have enough room for two. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Bye. Have a good day. So we're getting everything ready for auction. We're making sure we have all the supplies we need, then we'll be on our way. I am getting the auction box and the halters back here. And then I'm gonna go grab a couple bags of shavings to also throw up here. Probably need about three or four. And I need to put two, two bags of shavings in the smaller trailer. All the trailers are ready to go and now we're just gonna wait until it's about that time and then we're gonna start heading out. Today is the auction and I'm really, really excited because this is the first auction in a long time I've actually felt good. Um, I've been on medication for my cough, pre like getting over COVID and um, I'm doing good. So I'm hoping this auction rescue will be really good. Usually I'm wiped out by the time we get the horses back and I haven't been involved in the auction intake process in quite a while. so. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this medication will continue to help my lungs get better and um, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited that I'm feeling better and can be uh, more involved than I have been. Let's go save some horses. Heck are you? <laughs> are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> When we got to the auction this time, it was a lot different than previous auctions. Um, there was a lot less animals and um, less people. Thankfully, there wasn't as many critical ones, but unfortunately, there still was some. Um, but after the auction, we were able to save 19 of them. And this is one of the amazing lives that we saved. <laughs> um, but we do have some critical ones. We have some that we had to give some pain medicine to tonight due to leg deformities. Um, we have a couple blind ones as always. We have our jack donkeys that will be getting that care. And then we just have some older ones that just need some weight and some feet care on them as well. But overall, it was a good auction. Um, we were able to save 19. And, you know, even though it's not as much as we've had sometimes in the past, that is still 19 lives that matter and that we were able to save. So I'm excited that we were able to get them, get pain meds to those who needed it tonight. Um, we went through and moved everyone to pens and gave them fresh water so that way they can rehydrate overnight. And then our intake team will come back tomorrow and process them and then we'll be back at the shelter and starting all the medical intake on them. trucks and trailers. We didn't get some sleep last night, uh, but turn of events, all this year I've been the one that was sick and coughing at auctions. Today Jason's not feeling good, so I don't know. He'll be fine, uh, but it looks like we're ready to go. Just got here to the auction and um, we're getting the medicine box and the halters and lead ropes and we're gonna go uh, check out the horses. We got them all settled last night so hopefully they're all where they're supposed to be 
and happy and ready for the assessment. And we do a live assessment on our main Facebook page. So um, it's every auction rescue we try to do that. So, And this time I'm not coughing, so I'll be able to talk. Yay. Say I'm standing with an army. You put a fire inside. What makes the most... Tony, what are you doing? I <laughs> forgot the tripod, so... I'm propping my phone up and putting leaves behind it to hopefully make it stay in position. It's the idea. It's not quite a stay. Okay, there. Good morning, everyone. We're about to start the live assessment. And this is the first horse we're doing an assessment on. She is gonna need buteless, uh, Keith. Oh, good. And um, this is an old injury and it's been that way for quite some time. She found her sweet spot. Yeah. I always feel sorry for horses that have been in such chronic pain. If we can give them a little pleasure in life, it's 100% worth it. Well, we'll see what the vet says, but I, I'm, from my experience, this is not, this is gonna be a, a save for giving the last act of kindness to and relieving her suffering. This is a one. I mean, they can get a little bit skinnier, but um, there's degrees of skinniness. Right here, there's still some fat muscle left. So a horse that is truly a one, practically a zero, the shelf will come basically straight down, straight over, and there wouldn't be any weight here. But this horse is an emaciated horse, a very, very skinny horse. Last night, a very dehydrated as well um, so we're hoping hoping for the best she is so skinny on a normal horse the muscle and, and fat would fill this whole area in but I can put my fist back here she's so so skinny and just here the vet will evaluate the horse to determine is there any health problems and if it seems like the horse is, is okay we don't know we will uh, moderate the horse, put it on a watch list for a, um, that's a really deep hole. I don't know if that's just because she's so skinny. This is her sternum. Um, yeah, she's just missing all her muscle. Yeah, all her, so. All of her healthy fats are gone, so. The vet will work, but I think that might be like an injury. Let's see, turn this way. No, no, that's just because she's so skinny. It's on both sides as she moves. So we'll put her in a pen, give her special feed, and then weigh her to see if she's improving. But this, is, this is why we come to auction, is rescue horses. I mean, um, the first her, two horses have been really rough this morning. Her feet also have a lot of, uh, they're very flat, pancaked. She seems to walk fine, but we'll take x-rays to determine what's going on. She's leading up a lot better. She uh, seems a little more calm today. Um, Jenna did notice that she was possibly in some pain yesterday. Her tail has really dropped, so she probably has an old hind end injury. I did give her some beetless already. And, and then you're giving her Sinchil, which just helps relax. And Sinchil is one of our sponsors, um, and they they help us out a lot. She can sit her black, but she's she's really lame. She's pretty lame. Sure, 40 is her number. And it's, it's both her hind legs have, have issues. And she's blind in her right eye and also looks enlarged. But her hind end is giving her a lot of problems. She's like, doesn't want to put weight on this left back hind. She's also very skinny. Um, she's got bubbles coming out of her jaw. Um, so she has a, a puncture wound that goes through her mouth, like from her jaw into her mouth. Oh, wow. Most likely, because there's bubbles coming out. Yes. Corey, or Keith, I mean, she can probably ride with her friend. Yeah, she's, oh, she's having a hard time walking. That's, that's sad. 
I have not seen uh, bubbles just coming out of a horse's uh, jaw before. Um, most likely this horse has a puncture wound that goes from inside of its mouth through its mouth and when it's chewing it's it's saliva and stuff's coming through that hole and making the bubbles so uh, definitely the vets are gonna have to figure that one out uh, also really concerned about her hind leg she can't put weight on it real well um, so I don't know what her outcome will be but we will do the very best we can for her and we're very thankful that she has been rescued out of the slaughter pipeline thanks to support from people like you. So she seems fine. Did you say she seems fine? I think she seems fine. Wow, y'all. Shocking. We have a fine horse here. Tani declares this horse fine. I mean, she's a little bit of a runny nose, but I don't see anything what a really horse critical. Right look, look at her calic. She gives a little whoop. <laughs> You are so cute. Yes, you are with your little, your little blurly calic. I mean, there's still some winter hair there, but I think even when she sheds out, they're still a stick out. Cause she has a calic swirling in on this side and the calic swirling in on that side. And then it meets and her hair sticks out. You got a little unicorn. This is a Mustang that we're going to have next. And he is, he is branded and I don't, I don't see anything wrong with him like as far as he's, he's very wild. Y'all on lives are just gonna get a fleeting glimpse of this horse as it runs past. I need to cut back up where you So she's probably pregnant. A club foot and scratches on the right front. Club foot is basically its hills are growing out really long and the, the toe is short. That's the scratches or fly irritants. And then its left front is twisted, so probably get an x-ray on its left front. So this is a Jenny. She's probably pregnant. And she's a unique donkey because if you look at her, she's, her whole face is brown. Most donkeys have like a white muzzle um, when they're dark like that. So she is, she's just a chocolate donkey. And when she sheds out, she'll become darker and darker. Oh, so she's so super cute. Right? Oh, Did you get it? Oh, look at the donkey rolling down there. It's like, oh, feels so good. 8.45 and we're already done with the initial intake here. So I think we're going to probably take a quick break, try to get some water and then maybe load them up. got them all loaded up and we're ready to head back to the shelter and uh it's like 9 30 which is amazing we'd never leave this oh, early goodness, seriously. yes wow. 9 9 30. that's Woo. amazing thank well, you Corey like for all your hard work <laughs> absolutely that's yeah. wow. for sure got everyone back safe at the shelter. We actually got done really early. It was like um, 9.30 and we were done at the auction. So uh, everyone's here settling in. And then on the other side of the barn, uh, they're getting ready to bring horses into the chute, get them weighed and start the whole intake process. But I wasn't showing any lameness issues, just really emaciated. Yeah, let's get us some rain. Okay. We may, and we may check, we may give us some salicine so we can check the teeth good, see if we've lost a lot of jaw teeth. Okay and uh, may make the easier, x-rays easier. Okay. Well, I want to check the teeth and see if we have any jaw teeth. And I want to, we're trying to, we're going to x-ray and see if we're foundered or just have long feet. 
if we got good teeth and we're not foundered, and I, for some reason I don't think she is foundered, we're going to see if we can put some weight on her because she seems like a pretty sweet horse. She still got all her teeth, boys and girls. Doc is floating her teeth right now. She has all her teeth, which is amazing. She's in her 20s. And a lot of times this horse's age, their teeth, um, they can lose their teeth and everything. So the way everything's looking right now is she needs her teeth done and hopefully she'll be okay. Um, sometimes we rescue horses like this and there's major problems, but it looks like what we're seeing right now is that there's just neglect and that she needed her teeth done and hopefully she'll make a full recovery. Um, she actually has a very large tick under here and I'm going to take it off. We, uh, we worm the horses with uh, ivermectin because it does take care of the lice and um, ticks. We have a lot of ticks in Tennessee. This one's a big one. I think it's just pushing it when it's warming up. That's not rotated. Nope, just super overgrown. We've got some arthritis, but yeah. hey. It's not in the joint. No, we've got a little bit in the joint, but hey, probably from the... From the, the way the... It's trimmer feet. Long, long said. toes. It sure will. You get a beautiful skyline. So I am getting the fluid bags set. Um, this poor girl is pretty dehydrated. We did ensure that she was drinking last night, but I think with just how so dehydrated she was, plus how emaciated she is, we're just gonna kind of give her a boost and give her IV fluids right now, um, just to kind of give her a head start on hydration. Yeah, we, she got an angular limb deformity of an undetermined origin. Hey, we can park her because we're going to need x-rays. Park her in a stall. Put her in a stall. She's just a baby. She only has her baby teeth. So she's maybe about two years old at the oldest. Um, so hopefully everything else is okay with her. There is some concern about her hind end having some issues, but Doc's going to check it out. I'm, I'm pulling blood for a, a Coggins test. Equine infectious anemia. We're going with the good antibiotics on her because she is a young horse and I've got a funny feeling she has never been exposed to anything. So we're gonna do is some there exceed. A live microchip reader up here? See we got some more distance, so we got more. We got density in the bone. It really looks like there's some little bones that have dissolved there. You can see more of the angular limb deformity there where we probably busted an epiphysis at one time. Carpal fractures. And the, the problem with her is because she's young and she's just gonna keep getting bigger, this is gonna keep breaking down. And it's, and it's just gonna keep getting more crooked. Yeah. They never straighten up, it just gets worse. With her bone dissolving too, it's not it's good. not good. How's it going? So far, we're working good. Uh, getting everybody in and out. Nice. <laughs> wait, 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 what's and going on we're, here? We're, we're just doing great. I mean, it's, it's a good time. Oh, Excuse right. me. <laughs> so far, we're doing good. We're getting, we're going through them pretty quickly and just uh, like the way it's running. Really good. Uh, that's, about, that's what the auction house said. They said it rides really well, but then ran it through the ring without a halter and just ran it not being rode. She's better when she can see you. They don't lie to us. Other eye looks good. <coughs> Probably, the genass have had a luxated lens. It at least had a ruptured cornea and everything got displaced. That's what ended up with that small eye. I don't know if it's an injury because there's scars on the neck. It could have all happened at the same time. He's... A, 
pretty good young man when he can see you because I went to the other side and he seemed to calm down so I got sort of high so hopes for that one. So you could have had melting ulcers too. Yeah and see have you seen the all the white mm -hmm. stuff on his neck I wonder if that's from an injury. Maybe. That's that old. I'm gonna say 18. Yeah. 17, 18. About 17, 18. We are about to enucleate his left eye. So he looks like he possibly had a melting ulcer, a ruptured cornea, or a luxated lens, um, which does not feel good. So we're just gonna take the whole eyeball. And then once that happens, he'll feel a lot better. Typically, we don't do eye removal surgeries during auction intake, but we have two awesome vets here, and um, this horse is in a lot of pain from its blindness in its eye. So the only way to relieve that pain is to remove the eye um, and get that horse feeling better. So we're going to go ahead and do this eye removal surgery right in the middle of intake. It's not what we typically do, but to relieve the suffering of this horse, um, we're gonna do we're gonna do it um this horse is very reactive um very skittish and we think part of that is because of the pain that it's chronically living with so we're gonna go ahead and remove the eye and do the procedure and we're hoping for the best is this your first time seeing an eye removal on a horse yeah mine too oh stop it you said <laughs> I've seen it on other animals, never a, never a horse. I went pretty good. Uh, we got the eye out, got it out cleanly, and I uh, think we did a pretty good job suturing it back up. So feel pretty good about it. I think we did. Seems like sometimes they hurt even when they don't look like it or act like it. And we've had some horses. <clears throat> because they lack the chronic pain, their attitude improved drastically overnight. I mean, it's just, you got something that's hurting you, get rid of it. So this one, um, I was super drugged last night at the auction, um, but he's still pretty squinty, so we're going to check out his eyes and see if his eyes are painful. And um, he's also really spooky, which is probably why he was really drugged at the auction last night. We're going to check his teeth. We're going to float his teeth. Got it. Okay. Stick your hand inside the horse's mouth. Feel the inside <laughs> of the bottom. This is your trust exercise. I don't want to. Come on, you can do it. You gotta trust worried. me more than Doc, though. I've got the thing that's keeping yeah. him from butting down. Uh, I trust both of you. That hurts, doesn't it, Kim? That hurts. <laughs> inside, and feel the inside of the bottom. And you can feel it sort of sloping towards me, towards yeah. me. And the outside of the top is. We gotta hit that outside. It's exacerbated by her stance right now, but even when she's walking, her conformation is pretty abnormal on this left hind leg. I think she's got multiple things. So we can fix one or two things, but we could probably fix that left eye by removing it. Yeah, my and biggest... And stopping the pain there, but then we have other problems that... My biggest concern is this level of pain on... I'm oh, she just don't like she's that just, at all. She's just very painful. I don't think that's... She's being scared. I think that... I'm pretty sure that is a pain response. So what are your thoughts, Doc? If we, if we could x-ray her back, it, it would be nice, but I don't know if it's necessary. She's got so many things wrong that we don't know if they can be fixed. I don't think they can. And at her age, to try to put her oh, through all she... that. I said about 20 or 22. Oh. And she's in a lot of pain. She's, pain, she's painful all over. Mm -hmm. from, from the front right eye to the back back in. I hate it. But that's where we are. Unfortunately, this horse has been suffering for a very long time with chronic pain and there's nothing that we can do if it was only treating one problem like it was the eye. But I mean, from head to tail, she's got 
problems that are causing chronic suffering. And so we are going to give her the last act of kindness. So intake is going really well so far. We have Doc here and also Dr. Young. Um, and so what's nice with that is we are able to go through all of our animals, but able also to do more today. So, so far we've already had an eye nucleation. We had a horse who had to get IV fluids. We've had two have their teeth floated. Um, so it is awesome to have a great career today that we can start giving more of the heavier care right away. Uh, we have finished all of our horses and all we have left now is our donkeys. So this is a little Jenny donkey. Um, she looks to be about three years old. And last night when we got these donkeys, they said that all the Jennies were bred. Um, so we will be reevaluating that in a couple weeks um, with ultrasound just to see if they are indeed bred, how far along they are. Um, but so today she got her normal care and then we'll get her on the list for the farriers as soon as possible as well. When we uh, first moved here to Tennessee, these two were the first vets that we worked with. Um, we were doing a, a large animal seizure case and we had this donkey that basically was on death's door. And, uh, Ivy, I remember yeah, Ivy. Yeah, you were a great, great help in that. And um, so uh, we've worked off and on not as close as uh, we have with Doc over the years, but our board uh, made the decision to put out a job opening for a veterinarian, and um, well, here we are. So we're happy, and uh, Doc's not going anywhere, other than maybe a vacation or something. Maybe a vacation or something. <laughs> I interviewed about 30 people for the Elephant Sanctuary, and Dr. Young comes in high energy, and that's what I like. Of course, at this age, I'm not, I still got ADHD and uh, potential, like the squirrel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she sort of fits the way I like to work, and so we hired her, and we've been working together for, what, nine years mm -hmm. now and yep. stuff? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're starting to need a little more help out here at Horse Plus, because they keep on growing. And uh, so, seems like a perfect fit. Interestingly, Doc and I got personality tested at our other job, and we have almost identical personalities, which we both appreciated because we approach things pretty similarly. Pretty similar. Yeah, it's uh, yeah that that was a pretty neat uh, personality test. And I think it's right. We both can make a decision and go with it and justify it. I'm super happy because I love equine medicine. I was a technician at the University of Georgia and worked with some really incredible equine surgeons. And it's what I thought I wanted to do until I came to Honewald and met Doc and loved his practice and this town and um, never left since then. So I'm excited to. Well, you'll see all kinds of things here. So if yeah. there is another vet out there that wants a mixed animal practice and stuff, we're always looking for a good vet. And you, I don't know, we can probably will pay competitive and I'll guarantee you won't be bored. Never bored. Yep. Never it's bored. never boring. Because you're here part time and, yes. and the board voted for a full time position. Um, so and I know Doc is like he always wants vets. So if you're watching this and you're a vet, <clears throat> You know, there's lots of fun things that happen in Middle Tennessee. At least weekly, Doc and I go, we're at work right now. We're getting paid to do this. We love our job. I still sometimes cannot believe I get paid for it. I'm not sure I've ever worked a day in my life. I really, really not. Well, we're happy to have you here part time. Time. And our, our first veterinarian on our staff as an employee. So that's exciting. So welcome. Thank you. We are winding down for the day and um, we've got three jacks and we just found out that this little guy is intact. So he's got a gelding operation in his future. And then we've got the big lovable white donkey, probably pregnant, and another probably pregnant donkey, and then a uh, mature jack donkey, and then we're done. So it's been a great day, uh, lots of great help and just our awesome team that makes everything run so smoothly. So. There's Beach Whale. We're trying to boost her up because she's had a last, tough last couple of days. She's been jerked away from everything she's owned and put in with a bunch of other animals. And then we're giving her some, this is Exceed. It is an antibiotic that lasts four days. 
because they've been exposed to a lot of stuff they're not used to. Thank you. I want to get too. Thank you. You offended. Oh, are you? Oh. That's nasty, and now I got hair in my mouth. What are you oh, doing, sister? Yeah. No, she is not oh, with she her. hates that. Today went really great. Uh, it's actually the first auction intake that I have been here till the end since d December. So I'm excited about that. We're, we're happy having Tony back because sometimes we go off on the left field and we need direction. Uh, they did an excellent job, but I am happy to be here, happy to breathe. Um, Breathing is always good. We've got 19 horses and some of them were some of the best I think I've seen overall, one of the healthiest groups. As always, there's lots of hoof problems, yeah. and... There were two that needed the last act of kindness. I think it was a birthing injury where they busted the epiphysis or maybe put too much pressure, but it was starting to come out at an angle and they never get better. They just, the more, the oh, bigger the horse gets, the more weight, the more angle, uh, because from the pip, the top part of the, the bone, the epiphysis was just about gone. And I think that's what had happened to that one. The other one had an eye problem and was painful all along the back and the abscesses in the feet and 25 years old and there just wasn't and some uh, behavior issues too. So probably pain related. Probably pain related because you go in constant pain and it just. That is really hard. But the horses are, are the rest of them are doing good. So you only have two. Last act of kindness. Everyone else is out in the pastures now, and, and or in the stalls. Uh, you did have to do an eye removal. Yeah, we had we had a little extra help. Dr. Young came today. She is a excellent veterinarian. And, uh, so while she was still running the line, we were we removed an eye. What else? We did something. So we actually we ended up giving IV fluids to one that was dehydrated. We floated teeth on two of them. Um, we did a laceration repair on one as well. Um, so it was nice having both doctors because we got a lot of our like bigger procedures done that we were able to today. Um, so that was really good. And we didn't have any that had severe behavioral issues. We had the one that was in a lot of pain, but it, that wasn't like aggressive. That she was just, was she was just really shy and kind of like flighty, but we didn't have any, you know, that were really aggressive or anything. Just some that are gonna need some work and some training, but we got a nice, nice group. So it, it was great. It was all around a great, auction rescue and I'm excited to be feeling better and to be back and we have such an awesome team and uh, we just thank you all so much for your support because none of this would be possible without you so thank you thank you everyone so it's the end of the day we're all done are you guys ready to go get some food absolutely I'm yeah. starving starving Tony you look like you got some bad news for us uh there is no donated pizza or no. anything else <laughs> You know, they were doing so good for a while. We had like donated pizza every auction, but not today. That's so. too bad. It's well. fine. It's fine. We'll just save lives and go home famished. It's yeah. fine. Hopefully we make it home. Maybe next auction. <laughs> we'll, somebody will donate some. some food. Well, that would be awesome. We'd really appreciate it. That is for it sure. Is, it is nice. After hard work nice. to be able to like get some nutrition and feel the not have to worry about cooking when we go home yeah yeah, yeah. so maybe maybe next auction but i'm very Fingers sorry crossed. to say there was no pizza <laughs> nobody uh nobody donated anything. but if you're watching this <laughs> our team is extremely grateful anytime somebody wants to donate subway pizza and the end of auction intake we're all able to sit down and take a breather and uh get some food so if you're watching this that's a hint <laughs> you guys you guys did us proud on the gorilla tape so you know hint hint snack and dinner on auction night We're all just very This is Snow. I've worked with her a couple times now. If you got a horse in the round pen that's hard to catch, you're just gonna work it. So if it looks away from you, you're gonna put some pressure. And as soon as it starts looking towards you, you're gonna start backing away. You just wanna keep driving her, stay at her kind of flank and keep that pressure on her flank. 
and wait for her ear to be on you, her eye to be on you, the nose to tip in. Compared to the first time I tried to work with her, she is doing a lot better. She actually does let me catch her out in the pen now. But it has been a while, so if you can't be consistent with horses like this, it makes it a little bit more difficult. And I want her to be able to go around freely without me having to tell her to go. And she shouldn't stop until I ask her to stop. If you got a horse that can potentially be dangerous, you really have to pay, <coughs> pay attention to their body language and their ears will tell you a lot of the things that are going on. But when she's got her ears forward, kind of relaxed, she's, she's kind of willing to do what I'm asking, and then she pins her ears when I kind of get on her a little bit. Like if she's trying to get away a little bit and I bump in, sometimes she'll pin her ears. And that's what you gotta look out for with the dangerous horse. If they start pinning the ears, you gotta be prepared to get out of the way or make them work. So right there, she wasn't really doing it fully. But when you see them pinned flat against their head, that's when you really need to worry. You gotta be prepared to block them too. If you're starting to teach a horse how to back up and it does like to bite, make sure you kind of got your elbow towards it. So if it tries to come in to bite you, you can block it and push its head away from you. Right now I'm just asking her to back up. But I would like to see her head get down a little more. And I'm working on her bad side because I want her to get used to me over here doing stuff. Right there, she dropped her head. I'm gonna leave that alone. I might come over here to her good side. Ask her again. She's a little better on this side. She's still trying to bite me a little bit, but we'll get that out of her in a little bit. Probably take a few weeks of consistent sessions with her to really get rid of that issue. She was completely unhandled when we got her, so she's still very much has that fight or flight response and she's more fight than flight. Uh, last time I worked with her feet, I was able to just reach down and pick them up. We'll see where she's at with that today. There we go. Can you tell me why she's swishing her tail all the time? I mean, she's annoyed. So if horses swish their tail, it's not like a dog. It does not mean they're happy. <laughs> means I want to kick your face off, get away from me. I haven't worked with her in two weeks and she's already making improvements from the last time. So it just, it all depends on the way that you do it and when you leave them. You just want to always make sure you leave them on a good note. It went really well. She is making a lot of improvement as we go whenever we first pull her out it's always kind of the same now she's pinning her ears she's uh, trying to bite me but i always kind of have the same result towards the end she's usually sitting in here with her head somewhat dropped in a relaxed position so we just got to keep building on that but i'm pretty happy with the results TikTok with a Miss Doubtfire voice, and it's like, help is on the way, dear. That's us right now. So we are gonna give some more fluids to Miss <laughs> June here. Um, we have been feeding her multiple tiny meals of alfalfa today, just, you know, feeding UC Davis's refeeding program with her. And this last time that we came out to feed her, we noticed she was really reluctant to walk, which she wasn't earlier. Felt her front feet, they are extremely hot. So she's probably having a laminitis episode. So we are going to give her some more fluids. She's a lot more hydrated than yesterday, but unfortunately, banamine, the pain medication, can be really hard on the kidneys. And so that's what we need to help with the laminitis. So we're gonna bolus her some fluids now just to help minimize any damage the banamine might have. Give her that, and then we're gonna actually put her feet in soaker boots with ice and water as well. Yeah, so horse bags are actually five times this size. These are actually small animal bags. Um, we have more bigger bags on order, so 
Next time we have to give a horse one, they will get one giant bag instead of multiple small bags. So it sounds like we're giving a lot more than what we actually are just because it's normal. But she'll still get the same amount. You should have washed your feet first, horse. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't think about this before. <laughs> Owen, what are you doing? Right now, I'm trying to get this boot bag on, I guess is what it's called. And then we're gonna fill it with water and ice because right now her hoofs are so hot you can they're burning up so we're gonna try to cool her off just a little bit and then make her feel a little bit more comfortable that way this is what you gotta do sometimes to help a horse <laughs> gotta sit in the hot sun nobody brought me an umbrella yeah. or shade of any sort why is it that you have to sit all the way up there? Well, we tried tying to the barn or the hay feeder here and it just wasn't quite high enough. So yeah, I'm going to go a little higher. If there's not enough pressure, basically, it, the water, like the fluids can't make it up a line and then back down into the neck. Is it flowing or did yeah. it? No, you're flowing. You can see it right here. I can't see this from this angle. Okay. From this angle, it doesn't show me anything. It's flowing really good. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad I'm here. We're just going to do a little bit of this action and kind of maybe take it out of her yeah. eye hole. <laughs> I'm pretty much a professional at this right now. Sister. You're doing great. Yeah. So we are going to finish up giving um, these fluids right now. She's currently having her hooves soaking in the ice bath. Once the fluids are done, we'll give her the pain meds and then we'll just kind of keep monitoring her throughout the day and see how she does. <laughs> This is Copper. I think for what you guys are looking for, he's probably closest to the best match. Okay. Okay. He's not started yet, but he's got a really good mind and okay. he's ready to start, more or less. Following? He's fairly young, he's about two and a half. And I think with his height that he is now, I think he'll finish out over 15. Um, so he'll end up being a good size. Kat, what do you think? You like it? You I like think him? she's getting really comfortable like with him. Pretty relaxed with her. You want him? <laughs> she wants him. She's convinced now. We're gonna pull out Mouse. Now Mouse is something else. So I might wanna, if you wanna step out for a second, I'm gonna just let Kelsey show you guys first. In the interest of full transparency, you're welcome to show them what she does. She has zero grand manners. <laughs> grand manners can be fixed. Yeah. Yeah. She will chase you with her butt sometimes. She tries. She definitely does. You're when you're riding her, she does okay. Do you guys want to see her being rode? Or what do y'all think about Mouse? She likes I, Mouse. I love her. You think you want to take her home? It helps that her name is Mouse. <laughs> I love it. You're She's keep it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Of course. Great. Let's get you an adoption photo. Yeah. Who is this? This is Olaf. <laughs> You'd have three now. No. Oh, look how cute he is. Look at the little. Look at him. Look, look at him going through the little jungle. He's like da 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 da. He'd be friends with Mac. He's just a little bit bigger than your cat. Who is this? This is Denny. Denny? Oh, hi, pretty. He's cute. All right. Uh, Audra is getting mouse and copper. <laughs> And Allison is getting Denny and Olaf. Aww. Look at our babies. Yeah, oh. Cool. 
we came today to um, adopt and um, find two horses for my clients. And I ended up getting two minis today. I got Denny and I got Olaf. Olaf and Denny will probably just be pasture pets for my kids. Um, might teach them how to ride. Just kind of depends on what they like. We were here to get the horses. We ended up getting a uh, copper for my sister and then I got mouse. I had a very good time. Great as always.